Hey guys, this is Renee. I just wanted to do a really quick video just showing a Halloween card that I made. And then I wanted to do a quick eBay uh, collective haul. So let me just show you the Halloween card really quick. So this is the Halloween card. Oh, sorry, I just have to pause for one second. Someone's at the door. I just realized that kind of sounds like something in a horror movie, doesn't it? There's someone at the door. Did you think I'd come back? It's Halloween. Well, it's the Halloween month anyway. This is my Halloween card here. It's an it's not it's it's an odd size card. Um, it's it's got a black background, so it looks even smaller on this uh, this right here. So um, I'm not sure exactly what size it is. It's not it's not four and a quarter by five and a half. I can tell you that. So it's it's a weird size. That's because it's cut from a. I already had the piece of watercolor paper cut, so I just cut the card so that it fit the watercolor paper. I know that's backwards, hey? So I did a technique. I don't know what the technique is called. I've seen Christina Warner do it and Nicole McGorick and Jennifer McGuire. McGuire. Um, and it's where you put like watercolor down. And then you take a piece. They use acetate. I didn't have any, so I used plastic wrap. It worked. Whatever. Um, so you pounce the plastic wrap into the wa wet watercolor. And then you, oh, I think they call it a smush technique. Anyway, you smush it into your paper. So you get a bit more control over the color. So I used orange, purple, which mixed with my uh, orange to give me kind of a red, and yellow. So those are the three colors I used. I used the Sakura or Sakura watercolors. And then I used the stamp set here, which is. Oh, let's see, will it do it? No. There we go. It's Steampunk Scoundrels Holiday. Uh, no, the holiday is it's a theme. That's that's the category. So it's Steampunk Scoundrels. And this is a new stamp from Close to My Heart. And this is a Halloween set. And as you can see, it has Steampunk Halloween stuff. Although, this, you know, you could use them all year round. Especially the spider. Um, so it's got Boo, the spider. A bat, which is what I used, and the Happy Halloween. I love that little Happy Halloween. So, I just stamped that, and I stamped Happy Halloween. I added this um, glitter trim from the Dollarama. That's from last year, so you might not find it. And then I just raised it up on some foam tape. Which, you can't really see there, I'm too close. Yeah, foam tape. And that was it. So that was that easy card. Um... Let me just put that to the side. Now, the yeah, the way I order... I, sorry, I'm shaking the screen. I know. The way I order items from eBay is that I just... I get them one item at a time. So, I kind of like getting mail. So, that's another reason I do it. I get all these items super cheap. Um, like these beads here. These seed beads. I got for like 8 cents. I'm not kidding. I got these for 8 cents shipped. So, that included shipping. Um, where's Mickey? I got this little Mickey Mouse charm, and this was like 15 cents shipped. Um, oh, these are cute. These are little Christmas, um, my camera just won't focus fast enough. I'm so impatient. These are like little Christmas heart sandwich cookies. So, they were, I think... I don't know. They weren't any more than a dollar. I don't pay anything more than a dollar normally. Um, I think they were 50 cents. Now, I have a whole bunch of... Uh, let me show you these so I can get them out of the way. They're a bit fragile. Um, and this is how they came shipped. Where's the hot? Uh-oh. Now, see, I'm missing one already. These are really cute. These are... I know they don't look like much. But you can see this one's kind of getting scratched off already. They are scratchy material. Sorry. God. Um, so what you do is you write a message, or you stamp a message, you peel this off its backing, and you stick it over the message, and then the recipient can scratch off the stuff to reveal your message, which I thought was really cute. They were a bit pricey. I mean, they were four for a dollar, so, you know, pricey. All right, sorry. Oh, let me know. I got these really cute sticky notes. And they were a dollar Canadian. 
I got these really cute sticky tabs, little donut um, things. These, by the way, I've added one. I had two of these, so I added one to my challenge prize. If you guys are interested, there's a whole bunch of stuff in that package. You can go check it out on one of my previous videos. I'll put the link below. So, I got these donut ones. These are not in the prize pack. Sorry, I only have one. Uh, they're really cute. Then I have these panda bear sticky notes and I got these sheep to-do list sticky notes so eBay has a lot of stuff for you people that are into planners yup planning oh I'm missing some stickers where are they that's fine whatever I also got these this masking sticker set I don't know if I can open these with one hand you can see it comes in this really cute envelope. It had a little thing there, but I popped it off by accident. My bad. Oh yeah, I got this. So this comes with, I think it's 20 different sheets. And so they're all different patterns. And let me see if you can see. So they call it masking tape or washi tape or... Do they call it... Masking sticker set. So basically, it's just little tiny stickers that are colored. Oh, I'm, just, I'm doing this one-handed. This is really hard. So, yeah, there we go. So you can take it. You can either use it in your planner or you can use it on cards. And these are not shiny. They're matte. They look just like paper, but they're sticky. So that's, um, I can't find my other sticker sheets right now. I had these really cute stickers, um, for London. And then I had some other planner sticker sheets that come for like, it was eight sheets and they're a dollar. So check out eBay guys. Um, and also if you want to purchase this stamp set, which is gorgeous, uh, this is available on my website and I will link that below as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.